There's no sinner who is too far for God to save that sinner. The reason why Jesus Christ came into this world is for that is for the sins of penitence. It doesn't matter who you are. Through the cross, God demonstrates the sins of penitence. On the cross, Jesus Christ sacrificed his life for the sins of penitence. The Bible says. In John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. When God sent his son to this world and the light to die in the face of our sins upon the cross of Calvary, God was demonstrating his love for the world. Jesus Christ died on the cross. It's not in vain. Two thousand on the cross will receive the forgiveness of sins. When Jesus was upon that cross of Calvary, that is the picture of God's love for you and me and for one of us here today. I want you to know that the death of Jesus Christ on the cross was a proof that God loves the world. So you see, friend, through the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, we receive the mercy of God. We receive the forgiveness of sins. That's all over the world, not about the earth, but about humanity. Jesus Christ, please and die for your sin and the final cross will receive the forgiveness of sins. Today, friends, if you die outside Jesus, you can make it to heaven. Jesus died for your sin. Your sin put Jesus on the cross. And upon that cross, we will receive the mercy of God. Friends, you are wasting your time in this earth. Yes, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior Lord, our personal Savior, it's coming a time. It's coming a time. I don't know when, but you are going to stand before God and you are going to give account to Him. The Bible tells us that God loves us and He sent His Son to die for us. When we're still here sinners, when we're enemies to God, God the most right is love for us. There's nobody can love you than Jesus. Jesus Christ and penified love. Jesus Christ was loving even to the point of death. He said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Many of you today are here. You don't know what you are doing. The love of God is what compels us to preach the gospel to us. And I want you to know today that God loves you. Yes, God loves sinners. That's why God came into this world. In the person of Jesus Christ, to reconcile sinners back to God. So please, come to you today that you may receive everlasting life. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, you would like to know him. I would like you to make a prayer like this. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. I come before you today. I need your forgiveness of sins. I need your forgiveness of sins. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you are the Son of God. Who died on the cross? Who died on the cross of Calvary? And rose on the third day. And rose on the third day. Today, today I ask you. I ask you to be my Lord. To be my Lord and Savior. And Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. In your name, I pray. In your name, I pray. Amen. Amen. My dear friends. Jesus loves you, and that's why I went to the cross for you. So you don't have to go to the cross and pay for your own sin. You don't need to go and save Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. My dear friends, Jesus Christ 